Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to recover from a broken mirrored volume or actual RAID 1 volume as it's also called. So if you watched our first video on this when we created the RAID 1 mirror drive, we have these two disks that we assigned to this virtual machine, so we're doing it in virtual box. Here's the system drive with Windows installed on it. Then we installed these two you know, small 5 gigabyte disks to create our mirror. And if we look at the Windows computer itself and disk management, you'll see we have our mirror drive here with our two disks. And if we go to our file explorer here and we look at our mirrored M drive, we have I put some files on it for this demonstration. And if I right click, go to properties, we'll see that it's five gigabytes in size. So now the question is, what happens if we lose one of these hard disks? What happens to our mirror drive and how do we fix it? So that's what I'm going to show you. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down this VM so I can remove one of these hard drives to simulate a drive failure. So I'll do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so going back to our computer here, I have that second disk removed. And so if we go back into the Windows VM here, we're going to go to disk management and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's our mirror with the two disks, and you can see the second one says it's missing, but it still shows that there's a mirror there, and this is failed redundancy. But if I go into the File Explorer here, go to our mirror drive, you can see our files are still there, so we're still safe. So what I need to do is now I'm going to go back and add a second, or I should say another hard drive, so that'll be like if you were to replace the actual physical hard drive in your computer, took out the uh, bad one, put in a new good one. So I'm going to simulate that here by adding a new drive. Let's call this new. And I'll make it 5 gigs to match the other one here. So now we have this new drive here. So go back to the VM, go back to disk management here. So I'm going to refresh this or rescan the disks. And so now we have, here's the new drive I just added. All I need to do is initialize it, use the same GPT partition tables I did before. Okay, so now we have. So give us a little more room here. We have our mirror with our two drives and one of them's missing. So we need to get rid of this and then make this be the replacement for that to complete our mirror and to rebuild it. So what I'm going to do is you could, you could click on either one of these, right click on it. And I'm going to click on remove mirror. And you want to find the one that's missing. And you, so which is this one here, click on remove mirror. Say yes to that. Okay, so now we just have, this is just a regular drive now. It's not a mirror anymore, even though it's named mirror because that's what I called the volume. And here's our new disk. So I'm going to right click on our mirror, add mirror. And then it's going to say, here's the disk that's available. Click add. And you're going to get the same message here, but it's going to have to convert this basic disk to a dynamic disk in order to use it in a mirrored volume. Say yes to that. And so now we have our mirror recreated here, and you'll see it says it's resyncing, and so this is going to have to go up to 100% before it's done there. Okay, so now that's up to 100%, so now we have our healthy mirror here again. So if we go back to the mirror drive here, still see everything's the same, 5 gigabytes, and we have all our files, and everything is uh, good to go. So yeah, so when you're, you know, if one drive fails in your mirror, you need to take out the bad drive, put in a new drive, go break the mirror, and then just go into your disk management, do that from there, and just create a new mirror with your secondary new hard drive that you put in there, and then it'll resync, and everything will be uh, back in business. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.